Spirit visits his young ones makes me very happy. And so, what shall we say to these things? As we go into a season of prayer, what should we say to these things? Perhaps your season is dark. Perhaps you heard the bells on Christmas Day and it seemed all joy had slipped away. Mankind curses God and family forgot that God pitched his tent on our terrestrial sod. Love broke in that day and in sorrow she lay while on Joseph wrapped Jesus in a blanket of hay. A story continued from eternity's dawn how God loved a bride all secured for his son. Peace on the earth and good tidings to all. It seems such a reach in view of Adam's fall. I guess we'll wait till the king comes to earth. Then there'll be no debate about the day of his birth. We know it and feel it as if it's already here, and that's why you're hearing us sing it so clear. We tell it in darkness, weakness, and sadness. We sing his name till the world calls us madness. How can you blame us? Have you seen our hearts? Washed by his blood, cleansed in each part. The sky seems so blue, the birds sing so clear, the trees clap their hands, we see glory so dear. And so we sing of a day soon to come when all of our trials and troubles are done. His scepter is mighty, his reign will go on, his throne is so regal and your choice nearly gone. If you needed a warrior, he'd be just right. He'd kick death in the teeth and brought peace in your night. If you needed a mirror, he'd treat you just fine. He knows all about you, and he'll keep you in line. If you needed a power, he'd be just the one. He's calmed all your storms and caused your demons to run. But since we need a savior, I recommend this mighty King Jesus who rose from the dead. He grew up in a carpenter shop, but that was his learning from his Nazarene pops. He loved his dear mother from beginning to end, but the bosom he yearned was his father's instead. So on his way back to glory, our salvation he won as he crushed death to death by the death he had done. No sin of his own did he need to atone. He loved his elect with each bruise of his bone. Hell's gates did not stop his way to the captives. As a matter of fact, he went to the house with the masses. First, he borrowed a womb from a virgin so young. Then he borrowed a tomb till the weekend was done. Now he's seated in glory, interceding for us. If you believe this good news, your seat's on the bus. <laughs> Let's all stand together. Heads bowed, eyes closed. Thank you for enduring my first attempt at poetry. But more than that, do you love your mighty King Jesus who rose from the dead? What a powerful God we serve. Don't you leave this door unchanged. Don't you leave this room unchanged. We are not here to entertain. We are here to be changed. We worship the mighty King of glory. And one day, these who are saved, we who are saved, will awaken in his presence. And we will need no practice at worshiping him. So I wonder, brothers and sisters, do you need to pray right now? If you need to, as the music is playing, you may approach this altar, use the front pew, sit where you are, kneel where you are, and offer prayers to God. There is nothing, in my opinion, well, minutely, minutely few, very few things so important that someone needs to leave right now. Surely you can wait five more minutes. Not an hour, five more minutes. Can you pray with us? Heads are bowed. God, bless your people as we spend time in prayer. In Jesus' name.
God be blessed. Wouldn't that be blessed? Thank you. Thank you, sisters, for leading us. Brother Randy, would you close us in prayer? My wife and I are going to go to the back. For the Christmas program. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this morning that you brought us here. Thank you for the words that we've heard and for the preaching that we've heard, Lord, and the teaching. Father, as we leave here today and go, bring us back this afternoon, but help us to remember that you and only you can change our lives. For those that are here this morning that don't know you, I just pray for them. And as we learned in our small group this morning, when Noah built that ark, there was only one door, and you closed it, and once they were in there, they couldn't get out. Father, thank you for everything that you do, and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You're dismissed.